Good morning. Welcome to the Claydon Open Day 2021. You remember last year we promised to put some cover crops in and try that and we planted some for you to see last year and it was a virtual open day again and uh, we've got those cover crop areas that we're going to be looking at this year and the results of what we can actually see in the crop. We were quite mischievous and left some of them late but Dick will run through that with you. Dick is here with me today from Hutchinson's who kindly supplied all of the cover crops last year and behind me we've got different drilling dates. The first part is the worst which is drilled very very late in November and we drilled some into oats behind me and some we put the cover crop in for you to see in the open day and then let that run all the way through to the autumn and it actually seeded down. But I'll pass you over to Dick to tell you more about those cover crops and have a word with those. Thanks Jeff. Uh, yeah, um, I know Jeff was a bit sceptical about use of cover crops uh, within the system. Uh, so we persuaded him to put some in last year. Um, we sort of put him right in at the deep end using uh, two mixtures, multi-species, eight species in each mix rather than one or two um, uh, and we put in two individual mixtures one was what we call our maxi cover crop um, and the other was our maxi intercrop. Uh, the intercrop um, contains um, some C4 plant as in millet because we drilled these covers in April last year so it was pretty dry again at that time um, and because we were drilling in April, we wanted to, and we were going to take them all through, all the way through the summer to drill into winter wheat. Um, we wanted to put in some C4 plant to uh, engage with all the sunshine that we can, we often get um, through the through the summer months and the heat, which of course we're not getting this year. Um, we manage those cover crops in various different ways. Um, so we uh, pulled a drill. Um, Jeff's low disturbance which drill which was experimental at the time first outing last June um, and we pulled that through the crop when it was about half a metre high uh, knocked it about quite severely um, we thought we'd gilled it really um, uh, but it came back uh, really quite well um, various stages we had a, uh, a herbicide trial out in the centre of the field here where we were looking at volunteer, uh, treating the cover crops as volunteers, spraying, spraying them at about the full leaf stage um, to mimic the kind of size we would have to be controlling in a crop like this if they were volunteers. Um, so we had uh, many herbicide selections in there to, to have a look at, so that was quite successful. Um, then the small area of the, the crop, uh, particularly the, um, um, the intercrop, we're allowed to just run. We didn't do anything to it all the way through through the summer um, and then just plonk the drill in it in, in the autumn. And um, uh, we know from the experience Jeff, Jeff had trying to drill the crop that was the wrong thing to do. We didn't put any management in. We were trying to drill through uh, crop aftermath up here. Um, it was woody, um, difficult to get through the drill. It had produced lots of seed uh, and we can see the aftermath of that now. We've got lots of buckwheat volunteers in the bottom of this wheat crop. Uh, we've got phacelia in here and there'll be various other things, but they're the two dominant um, seeds that are, or plants that are coming up now. Um, so clearly we're going to have to control those. But using the information we gained from the herbicide trial last year, we know we can control these quite happily and we know which herbicides uh, we can use to to do that so good learning curve um, we've got some very well established crop in here where the covers have been managed really well looking great we've got some poor establishment crop in here where the cover wasn't managed well uh, and that's looking a bit ropey but we understand why lessons learned uh, we take that information forward and do a better job with the uh, combination of the cover and the Claydon system um, to, uh, to get the best from both now you can see the worst here at this end of the field where we drilled really late in, in November and uh, left that cover crop to seed down. So really something I wouldn't wish to do again. Um, it did create those problems and uh, which is really interesting. And behind me we drilled late after spring oats and you'll be able to see um, after the spring oats that the um, crop is not much better. It's the conditions when we're drilling. Really we shouldn't have been out here 
and uh, but it just goes to show timing is everything in agriculture. Let's move on to a better part of the field and have a look at a better area.